How does somebody go from this? Did I just find my baby daddy? To this. I will never see or talk to Jeremy ever again. In only under four weeks. To explore this, we go back to the beginning. I need to be with someone who's got a big personality. You might not have noticed that I've got a big personality. Who is you? That's Jeremy. Jeremy. Hello. And who is he dating? Who am I talking to? I know who I'm talking to, actually. What's up, Sarah? What? Why would you guess if you're like not 100%? I'm, I know who this is. You do not. I do. Laura, thank you. Okay. Very much. Hello, Laura. If I'm in someone's messy ass house, the last thing I want to do is like cuddle up with you or like have sex with you. She's not cuddling up in our house. You can come clean it though. No guy is ever gonna like keep the sink clean. That's like my number one rule. Dishes have to be out of the sink before I go to bed. Yes! Oh yeah, y'all, well y'all need to get married. I'm getting all hot and bothered over here. Let's go do the dishes. I have two robot vacuums that are running 24 seven. Shut up, that is so hot. Yep. That's it, you got the OCD match. Why don't we have a robot vacuum? That could be really bad. Cause we have kids. Mind and dogs. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jeremy. Who am I talking to right now? This is Sarah. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I was right. I called somebody else your name. Oh no. Wake up, we could go to the gym, we could do breakfast, we could run errands together. Yes. My love errands. Yeah, let's go to the gym and get breakfast and run errands. And then I also could picture of like, let's take the dog to the brewery. Not my dogs. You can't take them to a brewery. They're wild. I just sold my last house. Yeah. And I want to get married. And <laughs> I want to move into a house with someone that I pick together so they don't feel like they're moving into my space and encroaching. He's manipulating them though. He's making it sound like, oh, we're buying a house as soon as we get married. Like, and you... Oh, I already had a house. I sold and it. And you get to pick out the house. So I've got the CPAP. Is that the thing? Like the machine that like, yep. what if you just whipped this out our first night together? Oh, I don't have it with me. Wait, what? I didn't bring it with me. What are we gonna do on our honeymoon? You act like we're sleeping. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> we will be sleeping, girl. Laura's my number one right now. Sounds super cheesy, but she just feels like she's been around forever. Sarah's kind of like, she brings a different type of energy, like a different type of, uh, it's like an edginess to it. Edginess? No, Sarah's not edgy, the other one's Yeah, edgy. I felt like the other one was more edgy. I feel like my eyebrows drooping, but I don't think it is. They keep going. That's kind of a weird thing though. Okay, I get what he's saying. Like, I also want to be married to someone that I'm, if I'm like, hey, will you take a picture of me in front of this? Like, yeah. like they're not gonna be like, uh. He's gonna be like, uh. Yeah. How many followers do you have on Instagram? Maybe 4,000. Jesus. He's not feeling it. I have a TikTok. So I have like 31,000 followers on there, but like it's what? only- How old is she? She's given 21. You don't have any other surprise accounts, do you? You know what I'm talking about. OnlyFans? Yeah. Yeah, I started that last year. <laughs> She lies. I'm totally. F I was waiting for you. I was waiting for the response. <laughs> <laughs> they don't match. No. And I don't know if he really matches with the other girl either. Yeah, I don't know that he matches with the other one. But if I had to pick, especially look, if you have OCD, you need to be with someone who has, has that OCD. similar like Oops. cleanliness. Like, could you imagine if one of us was OCD? Like, maybe it would be helpful, but like, it might also not be good. I was literally laying in bed last night. And I was thinking to myself, like, I just want to talk to her. Yeah. And, and this is going to sound insane. I'm like falling for you. Okay, so this is pretty. The last one, he didn't really. I want to have this discussion with you. Oh God, okay. Decide that, you know, my my other date is, is who I- Want to be with. I have to move forward. Gotcha. Bye girl. I think you are an amazing person. And I think- Thank like, you. She's done with you, buddy. Nobody wants to hear that afterwards. What and was it, the determining factor? I'm sitting here rambling and I don't have a good answer. No, he does. He's just not telling her. It, it, this is the shittiest situation I think I've ever been in because I'm forced to make a decision. Yeah. Look, this is the process. Yeah. Like, I will tell you, I don't think I would do this again. I would definitely do it again. Well, you might have your chance when they do uh, Love is Blind Rejects. Was there anything that I could have done differently? No. I mean, you can not be you. If you think about the odds of us being in this exact moment, sitting here right now. It's 100%. I think we have a better chance. No, it's 100%. Not only like winning the lottery multiple times in a row, but also being struck by lightning. You're just making up your own stats, buddy. <laughs> With all that said, like the statistic, I decided last night that you were the person for me. <laughs> Laura, I would love more than anything to have you as, as my wife. I feel like I only saw like two dates of them, so I don't know really. I would love to marry you. I like how you didn't actually really ask. He didn't really say, will you marry me? He said, I would love to have you as my wife. And he first let in with a statistics talk before. I don't know, you're it for me, for sure. He didn't use the middle name. Did I just find my 
baby daddy? <laughs> I really love you. Aw, that was cute. Okay, I'm kind of excited for when they meet each other because I want to see what it's going to be like. I think they match, kind of. I think so, too. But we'll see. What? what? What kind of reaction was that? I'm gonna pass out. Same. Hi! You are handsome! <laughs> Look at your face! Look at everything. <laughs> Look at your everything. Will you remarry me? Remarry him? <laughs> like I say, well. He smells good! He smells like out doorsy of like a manly campfire way he's not giving manly campfire was i what you were expecting kind of kind of yeah really oh my gosh why does she seem so uncomfortable though i don't know i don't come in with reservations i trust you we're coming in full force <laughs> okay all right we'll i guess see. guess it's working i don't know we'll see yeah like that Mmm, go girls! No Hawaiian shirts, motorcycles. This is very one-sided. Is there anything that like, you're like, you can't do that anymore? Sleep with other guys. Can be a hoe for sure. Laura's amazing. Oh, cool, Laura's also beautiful. I think over time they're gonna get in each other's nerves. I feel like they're, cause they're picking to already so much. Well, she's picking. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna get on her nerves. And it's gonna bother him after a while. She's taught me about, um, what is it, bean dip? <laughs> bean dip? She told me you would know what that means. <laughs> what is bean dip? I said, Jimmy, yeah. do it when we walk in. She will literally no. die. She like, told me she to do it, too, and I was like, die. I'm gonna get fucking canceled. What's bean dip? He's gotta do it, because we won't know what it means unless you do it. Bean really? dip is like this titty snack. She smacked the on my titty. Hit, hit. No, <laughs> no, not doing it. She told me to do that, and I'm like, what is she wrong with you? told you to do that to who? You. That's and I'm so like, what crazy. Is <laughs> Clay, like, what? <laughs> you want to get knocked out? <laughs> Don't do that, Jeremy. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, Jeremy. <laughs> One thing we not gonna do is be smacking titty. <laughs> Who did you offend? Probably AD. I hope not. No, you offended me. You offended me. <laughs> I've never heard that terminology. Bean dip? I've never anything? heard it either. Telling another man. Yeah, but as a joke. Well, he, like, doesn't know the joke. Wrong. he doesn't know the joke. Wait, this is really an issue? I thought it was funny. Something out of nothing. See ya. I agree, that is something out of nothing. It's giving children giving small child vibes. I actually agree, like whatever. It's just a stupid little joke. He doesn't seem offended. There's been a lot of alcohol drunk in this, True. On this speech party. I'm not gonna blame you. I'm done. He don't seem like he's mad at him. Sit over here, babe. Okay. You in trouble, you in timeout. It was a joke that just I... spun out of control. It's like when I joke with you about behind closed doors, because if people heard our conversations, some people may get offended when we just talk to each other and joke with each other. But there's a difference, right? When you're both joking one-on-one -on -one to right. joking to a group. Right. You can't just be bringing everything out to the group. Are you I'm ready to go home? What? Mm. Like home home or back yeah. to the hotel? Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Oh, he really went home? I'm done. <laughs> I went to bed angry. I slept on the couch last night. Am I gonna be perfect? No. So this is not an issue. Like, can we not make this an issue? He was punishing himself. He's probably putting a belt and slashing <laughs> his back. <laughs> Shh, stupid Jeremy, stupid. Why'd you mention the bean dip? Why'd you mention the bean dip? You icing me out completely when I had done nothing wrong or to you. You did nothing me. wrong. Like, that, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. That's what I just said. Not to be dramatic, <laughs> but if someone had been like, are you guys getting married? I think maybe yesterday I would have said 100%, and today I would maybe say I don't know. Yeah. I understand you have to have deep conversations, right? Because you're getting married soon, but look at the water, look at the food. Look. And also y'all talking about something dumb. Like it was a joke, laugh it off, move on. Where do you think we stack up with the other couples now that you've met everybody? I think we're one of the top couple. We're definitely top five. Nobody? Nobody. We're number one. We communicate the best. Yeah, you communicate the best by you not communicating. I don't think things could be any better between Laura and I at the moment. You excited? Yeah. I wish I was excited. Right? I'm not excited. First impressions, it is very clean. I'm not kidding how like OCD I am about things. This is really cute silverware. Right? Should I be concerned? No. I've never met a guy hold that would pick up cute but hold silverware. On. Right? Why did he go with the gold? It looks state. Right? It looks like a woman picked that stuff out. He said his house was immaculate. I kind of just laughed it off as like, yeah, right. It looks like a woman's house. On a scale of one to 10, how nervous are you to meet my parents? I don't get nervous very often. 
My parents have been married for like 40 years. Their relationship works for them. They coexist, they love each other to and whatever their version of that is. What the heck kind of relationship is that? The way right? she describes it, it's like. I mean, they've been married 40 years. I don't know how much spice and oomph. Worst thing that could happen is my parents are just wildly uncomfortable and you only somehow make the situation worse by like being like stiff or like they just don't get like yeah. good vibes. No, he's definitely not stiff. No matter what, he's talkative and. Actually, he is a little stiff, but like in a nerdy, I don't know what he is. Ah! Hello. Oh, oh. Yeah, we brought some puppies with us. Hi, Rick. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Rick and Cindy. Oh, hey, hey. Megan. Hey, Eric. You are going to get a kick out of this, I think. <laughs> the dog is smiling so big. Look at the dog. Jeremy's getting very used to how much that I talk on a regular basis. She seems very different from her family, yeah. right? All right, so what would you guys like to know? We know why she went in. Mm -hmm. Why she went in, like it was prison. What'd you in for? How often do you get to like, be able to go on different dates with people who actually want good intentions and they've had True. a psychological evaluation that you can happen. you think they got it wrong when you <laughs> Not in the pods, but since I've been here. We're in a bit of a love triangle. I'll let Laura explain that. No, explain yourself, babe. <laughs> Mom is worried. Basically, he was dating this other girl up until the end. She has since DM'd him on Instagram, saying, if you're not sure about your choice, I would appreciate meeting up with you. Right now. Is that a Pomeranian? I'm sorry, I'm just so into the dog right now. They're both just like holding the dog, and the dog's just like, this is my time to shine. She hearted it. Well, I mean, what are you supposed to do? It was fine, I'm over it. It's still fine. You. I mean, she didn't have to know about it at all. She would have found out. He does this thing with Hawaiian shirts, which is not my favorite. They're awesome. I love it. I'm, I'm there for it. Yeah, I like Hawaiian shirts. Like, I like when we're on vacation and you wear, like, a nice printed shirt because it reminds me that we're, we're on, on vacation. vacation. Yeah. I love it. So I made a pros list and I literally, like, ran out of space on the page of all the pros. What does the brother have to say? No, I want to know what Rick has to say. And then there was, like, four things like Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> Anyways, that's my answer. So then that's how I knew. Wow, that's all you had to say, but... <laughs> I like him. And he seems to really like her. If you make her into a princess and put her on a pedestal, she'll walk all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good advice. I love that. Make her a princess, she gonna stomp all over you. I love the Hawaiian shirt <laughs> thing. Why do you like For me, yeah. like if somebody loves something, like I'm behind that. I love that answer. But it was like he was doing it to like be silly. What is wrong with being silly? Yeah, like loosen up, Laura. It. It's truly something that they enjoy. Then I love that. Yeah, shut up, Laura. Just gotta relax. Uh-oh, are we beefing? Are you gonna sit there with your sunglasses on inside? Well, I wanted to put my Hawaiian shirt on, but... You left at 10.45, and we're out till 5-something in the f***ing morning. Oh, hell no! Who was he with? Oh, yeah, what, did he tell her? What were you doing until 5 o'clock in the morning? Okay. Them dumbass sunglasses. Spill. When I was halfway there, got a text message from one of the guys from the pod saying, Hey, Sarah's out here, just so you know. Sarah? In order to not drag things out and make it worse, I was like, do I need to have a conversation with her? Wow. Till 5 in the morning? The bar closed. You hung back with Sarah Ann and was talking till 5 a.m. Yes. Oh, hell no. And you didn't text or call? Why don't we have or... this on camera? You're constantly dumping things on me. Then I have to deal with What here. is that that you have to deal with? Why what? You haven't taken any initiative to shut this shit down. You just supposedly had this lovely conversation where you did nothing but shut it down. Where's the camera footage? I want to see this. I understand how that can come across. I'll say right now, I don't fucking believe. Me either. But how do you not call or text to say you're going to be out that late, right? 5 a.m.? Oh, no. Absolutely not. I knew this shit was going to happen. I don't like how he's sitting there and, and approaching not anything. It. As an extra layer of reassurance, like I shared my location with you. How was that supposed to give any reassurance? Reassurance would be coming home at a decent hour, not six o'clock in the morning. Talking to your ex? I don't want to go hang out with your mother and act fake as in front of her. Where were you? In the parking lot. In a car? I'm not denying anything. You're denying leaving the bar. I don't want to talk about that right this second. You don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to lie to you about it. You weren't at the parking lot of Lost and Found. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. I parked, there's Lost and Found, then there's an alley that cuts back there. You weren't even in South. You were north of Uptown, which is where Sarah Ann lived. Oh my God. I forgot to turn off your lady. Stop, buddy. Wow. Jeremy a ho. I don't have anything else to say. You going to text Sarah Ann right now? Internet going to eat you up. How do you think you're going to get away with that? 
forget Hi, about Layla. Yeah, forget about Jeremy. It's Layla. Let's follow Layla. That your Layla finds love blindly. I kind of got myself into a little bit of trouble. Nothing, you know, inappropriate happened. Anything like that? Yeah. Right. Liar. Yeah. Right. So literally drove her there. We talked for a few more minutes, and I just left. Liar. Nothing happened. Look at mama. I even told Laura straight up like, hey, here's what happened. Here's the chain of events. No, you didn't. You said, I don't want to talk about that right now. You're lucky it wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Turn up, Janine. That's right. He lucky it wasn't me. My man know better. No, you would be out there with me. Talking to some hoe. If I'm going to be out at 530 in the morning, you're going to be there. Didn't realize I was going to potentially lose a fiance over that. Well, I could have told you that, but you didn't call me. Yeah, what did you think? She'd be cool yeah. with it? It wasn't like, oh, this is what I'm going to go do tonight. I'm going to go up and have fun and have fun was it worth it not what my brain did we're not talking about what your brain did slightly south so i don't know if i'm gonna have a daughter-in-law or not you've always got layla <laughs> layla's all you need <laughs> yep i was told by johnny that jeremy said that he hung out with sarah ann mm -hmm. for five thirty in the morning yeah did he did he yeah say that? yeah he did say that but that they just talked Ain't Ain't to uh, say <laughs> at 5 30 in the <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What are we talking about at 5 a.m.? You guys, when I left, I didn't hear not one word from him. Oh, well, he didn't even try. Because he too busy off with Sarah Ann. I think he was fake as in the pod. Hey. Oh, okay. no, this hoe didn't show up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hell no. I knew you would have a Hawaiian shirt on. How'd you know? Yeah, like he could at least not wear a Hawaiian shirt because he knows how much she hates it. Right. Honestly, my last conversation with Laura, she really jumped down my throat to the point where I'm nervous to like even speak to her. You I, should be, ho. I think she had reason to jump down your throat. Absolutely. I made out to be the bad guy. You are. I tried sending her flowers. She's like, you don't need my address because I don't need anything from you. And then follows that up with, it sucks to know that your name went from fiance to just Jeremy in my phone. And what f world would I try to fight for something like that? Ew, I do not like him. That ugly ass shirt. I don't know if she was angry or if that's how she was actually feeling about things. Yes, she was angry. It's hard to have a conversation with someone who just runs away from something every time they get frustrated. Okay, so how would you act if she went out with some guy until six o'clock in the morning? I, I made it pretty well known the other day that I was pretty upset with some of the things that was said. This bullcrap. When I tell you I want to send you something, or when I tell you, or I ask you how you're doing, and one of the first responses I get is, it sucks to know that your name changed from fiance to just Jeremy in my phone. Yeah, well. Authentically me since day one when we met in the pod. You on the I'm other not hand trying are to a have... con artist. Yep. You think you came in here with the maturity level you need to have a marriage, to com fully commit to someone and protect their heart? No. No. Tell them, Laura. Did I not, like, I owned what I did? I don't hear owning it. I don't hear owning anything. Three days later, and then you're confused why I don't meet you with joy and happiness. Right. What happens in your head? Yes, that's my question. I'll come get the rest of my tomorrow. I already packed it up, so it's already ready to go. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot stand him. Slap him. So he didn't come in with the intention to heal this at all. Everybody can feel the tension between us. That you caused, a-hole. Can we at least just put it aside? Put it aside? Hell no. I do want to try and have a good time with the people that are around here. Why the f is that your concern? Your engagement just ended. He sucks. He does not deserve her. You are not a man. You're not man enough for me. You've never- mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and laugh, little boy. The narcissism is literally nauseating. Go kick rocks with open-toed f***ing shoes. Okay, Laura, I'm on your side. Right? You are too good for this little boy. Yeah, I didn't know about Laura, but- No, I like her. Everything she said there- Was on point. On point. And she's a woman. He's like a little kid. Do I need to beat his ass? Yeah. Yes! No one needs to beat his ass. He doesn't deserve it. Oh, okay, I'll stop talking. Sorry. And then to DM him and say, is the door still open? My question is. I didn't say, is the door still open? Okay, okay. I read it. My question is. She did, she say, did that. say that. Did Jeremy leave the door open for you and him? Yeah. I didn't do what I know I should have done, which is, are you sure? But I didn't want to be, pick me, pick me, pick right. me. I'm not going to convince a man naturally. to be with me. <laughs> well, you're kind of convincing him to be with you. Did. That's why I didn't tell him how he made me feel. So he said it through a text after he got engaged. He told me, he was like, I wish you maybe had have asked me that. He's like, because maybe it would have been different. Shut up. But do, is that what you really want? Did not cross the line with him and I did not let him in my house. We were talking. How to end. They kissed. They kissed. He dropped me off and I went inside. And Jeremy and Laura are engaged. That's the thing, is I was told that he's, you know. Yeah. What did he tell you? 
Yeah, what did he tell you? He told me that he's breaking everything off, and I was like, okay. Ah. He did not choose you. Okay. So for you to then circle back when he made his choice. Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't fight for him in the pods, and I probably should have. So now once he's engaged, you want to so double you, back. So you should have been a pick me. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not here to interrogate you, but. Well, you do sound like you're interrogating her. But I'm glad you did, because we needed answers. Yeah, I don't mind it, but don't say you're not themselves i'm not gonna sit here and be treated like a piece of sh nobody treated you like anything then i'm not gonna be interrogated by women that should worry about their own goddamn relationships say it to her face you ain't say it to her face the message was not bad in my opinion did you think it was bad i didn't think it was bad and if that swayed your opinion in any way shape or form then you're in the wrong relationship in the first place it didn't. It didn't? Well, he told her that he was breaking it off with Laura. Exactly. That's not what he was telling Laura. I fully did exactly what I needed to do for the reason that I came here, which was to meet the love of my life, not to make fucking friends. I have great friends. Then why are you at the lake house? You didn't need to come. Now I have to deal with all of these women on my own. Girl, bye. And I'm not sorry. I'm not, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry about I that. I don't think you should be sorry. I made the wrong decision. And I think you know that. I had every indication in front of me that you and I should have done this together. Oh, he's playing Sarah Ann just like he played Lara. What do we do now? You want to go ride jet skis? Let's okay. Do let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Do I think that she was right in her f***ing actions? Not so much. It's just not nice. He's the one that got down on one f***ing knee and asked for my hand in marriage. He ain't worth it, girl. No, he was the wrong guy. He fooled me in the very beginning, too. But yeah. not for too long, but he did for a while. It's time to move on with our lives. Jeremy, you suck. I will never see or talk to Jeremy ever again. Good, because he sucks. Me either. I don't want to talk to him either. I don't like him or his little girlfriend, Sarah. <laughs> 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 